Hello again. In this video, we've got a double, a bouncy castle and a slide. And we're going to be bringing it down into this very large garden down here and setting it up. One on the left and one on the right. And the one on here on the left, you can see this is the castle with slide. This is the back view of it. Right is the 10 by 10, the back view of it. And this is the front view of it again. This is the castle with the slide coming up. There you go. And also the 10 by 10. Now, as you can see, it's a jungle themed bouncy castle and uh, slide. And also they're having some tables and chairs. Hello again, we're back. And this one, we got a, a double. I'm speaking quietly because it's quite early in the morning. It's actually around about eight o'clock. It's a very early start to this party, 10 o'clock. So they will call me. But anyway, what we've got is a double. Um, and by a double, I mean two castles. We've got a combi, which is a jungle themed castle with a slide. And also a 10 by 10 jungle. So it's obviously a jungle themed castle. And also we've got some tables and chairs, as you can see here. And it's all coming in and down this alleyway here, uh, which is nice and flat, which is pretty good. So uh, nice and easy on that respect. So we'll get it all unloaded and brought in. Nice and early on a Sunday morning, this one. Some look at these chairs here. Right, another heavy bit. Let's get this castle with slide out. Up she goes. They never get any lighter, these castles. Right, onto the trolley. Right, that's the heavy one round there. Now we're just going to get our cables and bits and pieces. A couple of ground sheets on this one. I bought some extras, but two will be enough. Uh, I've already checked the garden. All right, once the sort of cars are down the end of the garden, so I'm going to need to double up on the cables. So put four of them on. All right, let's get the other one out. This is the 10 by 10, the smaller one of the two. Still heavy enough though. Just get the trolley underneath there. and bring it round. Right, get a few right, more bits. Do, put the, the cables on first, because we need to see how far they run. Well, it's quite a long garden, so obviously I need to put it so I can get the cables. So, there's the two castles. I put them halfway down the garden because I'm not sure where they're going to go. But I'm going to run the cables and see. All right, so we've got an outside, outside socket here on the left. In fact, they had one on both sides, which was quite handy. So we just put the cables in. And then I'm going to run them down the garden and see how far they go. And that is where I'm going to set up my bouncy castles. So he's got outsourced sockets on both sides, which was quite handy. But uh, I've run them all from one side. We had plenty of cables. I had two on this one. So we've got a little bit of extra, so I can move the castles back. We wanted them as far back as possible, but obviously you can only go back so far. Then we'll bring our blowers and our ground sheets over. It was a huge garden, this one. Uh, he did initially want it right at the back, but I did explain to him that the cables wouldn't be long enough. And also you can get a voltage drop, which means the blowers won't operate as well. So you can only do a maximum of two cables, with a 20 metre cables, which is what I used on these, and then that should run, run all pretty good. Right, so we've got the ground sheets out. The ground was pretty wet to begin with. Uh, it didn't rain overnight, but it was a lot of dew and moisture. So I always put the ground sheets down. My pretty wet feet doing it as well. Right, so there we go. That's the jungle castle with slide going up. There she goes. Never get bored of watching those go up like that. 
It is that 10 by 10. Leave it rolled up, let the blower do the work. That comes with age. When you're younger, you're pulling them all over the place. By 10. Yeah, the ground's very wet. I've got wet feet. I should have worn my wellies. One thing of all the rain, though, it does make the ground nice and soft. Don't mind when you've got a lot of trees either side. Or it can make the ground really hard because it sucks out the moisture. But that's just right. They're going in good. And there's a bit of rubble underneath the ground. I can feel it as it goes in. It's fighting on that as well. All going in good. One down. Right, same on this side. Get the pegs in. It's just the right amount of bite on this. It was going in soft enough, but it's going in halfway and it was biting on any rubble, stones or bricks that are underneath the ground. Which is good, that's what you want. You know, then it's not going to pull out. Get these ones in on the back there. Oh. Right, two more to go. Yeah, like I said, when you've got a lot of trees either side, moisture up. Uh, so when you're in the peak summer and you've got all these trees up here, uh, you can suck it out and make it really hard to get them in when it's really dry the ground. At the moment we've had a lot of rain so it's pretty tough. So that's the two castles in. Back out to the van, get our last few bits and pieces. Right, and we've got a few tables on this one as well, a few adult sized tables. These are six foot tables folded in half. We're going to get those on the trolley and bring them around. There was two of those. Didn't have to walk too far with these as he was going to have them set up uh, at the front of the house there. You see the kids inside waiting for it all to be set up so they can get on that castle. Not long now. Right, back out we go. We've got some of these kiddies' chairs as well. Never mind. Six. 16 of these kiddies' chairs. I thought my going mad. I thought for a moment when I'd done these, I was a chair short, I counted 15, but there's one sitting on the grass there, which made 16. I thought I was one short and I might have to go back and get one, but... Right, that doesn't want me to set them out, or... They're going to do it. Right, I've got a couple of little mats here. Put at the front. As you can see, it's a very long garden. There was a lot of walking involved. But I suppose it keeps you fit. John, would you like a drink, mate? Uh, yeah, a cup of coffee. Coffee, how do you think? Uh, just milk, no sugar. Milk, no sugar. Yeah, cheers. We've got the little chairs here. So you get two chairs on these ones, one each side. We're going to get those on the trolley and bring them round. Great little tables, these ones. Very easy to stack. Don't take up a lot of room in your van either. Now the wooden ones, which I also do, do take up a lot of room. They can't stack them. And also, if any castles fall on them, they can cause all sorts of damage. So, I prefer doing these ones, really. These are my little tables. Little plastic ones, nice and easy to store. have it that's the kids are already on there sitting on it. it's an early start this one 10 o'clock so we've got the jungle theme castle and a little 10 by 10 okay that's me done on this one we're picking up about four o'clock this afternoon so uh, 
fingers crossed the weather's going to be good and everything will go swimmingly anyway as always thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now